Hi, welcome back. I'm going to continue with chilled storage or refrigeration. Always clean and defrost fridges thoroughly. Cover and label food with its use by date. Keep food tidy. Don't overstock. First in, first out. No warm food. Separate raw and ready-to-eat foods. Decant food from metal containers. So, what is the best way to stock a fridge? Ready-to-eat foods on the top shelf, salads on the bottom shelf, and if you have a vegetable drawer under the bottom shelf, store your raw meat and fish there. Remember, fridges must be between 1 and 4 degrees C, although if you can run at less than 4 degrees C without freezing, that would be ideal. If you are responsible for food deliveries, you must check chilled and frozen temperatures. If foods are delivered above accepted temperatures, they must be rejected. Chilled foods must be between 1 and 4 degrees C. Frozen foods must be at minus 18 degrees C or less. When thawing food, for example poultry, always ensure it is properly thawed before cooking. The best way to thaw food is in the bottom of a fridge, in a covered container. Check that the food is thawed by using a digital temperature probe. With cooking, always ensure the food is cooked to 75 degrees C. Check several areas to ensure all the food is at 75 degrees C. Use a digital temperature probe to check. If you have to reheat food that has previously been cooked, reheat to 75 degrees C. Only reheat a pre-cooked food product once only. Once you have cooked food, and it is not going to be served straight away, it must be kept hot. It must be retained at 63 degrees C or higher. If you have cooked food, which is going to be refrigerated, it must be cooled down to 4 degrees C in 90 minutes. This is best achieved using a blast chiller. If you have hot food, that can't be kept hot. You have two hours to sell it before it must be disposed of. If you have cold food that can't be refrigerated, it must be sold in four hours or disposed of. Thanks for watching. The next video will cover bacterial spores and toxins.